In this segment, I want to talk to you about a very important element in your uh, steps to success uh, for embroidery, for creating flawless embroidery, and that is toppings. Um, this is the material that goes on the surface of the item that you are embroidering uh, to keep all of your stitches elevated. Uh, and a lot of people ask me, you know, well, where do I use a topping? And you know what my patent answer is, is everywhere, on everything that you embroider. The only exception to that would be freestanding lace, uh, leather, uh, but even sometimes I do on leather if it's like an ultra suede or something like that that's grainy that might need some topping. But the, the focus of topping or the, the purpose of topping is to create a smooth surface an even playing field for all of your stitches to form in. And, and I always give this challenge, uh, if you don't believe me. Take a piece of quilting fabric, just a really nice piece of smooth quilting fabric, stabilize it, and stitch a satin stitch two times. Stitch one row with topping, stitch the second row without. And look at the difference in how your stitches close off. You and I can't see all the indiscrepancies that's going on in the surface of that fabric. There are spliced threads, there's knots, there's just a difference in the weave. So the topping just smooths everything out so that the stitch can form its very best. It also elevates the embroidery. It, it pushes it to the top of the surface. So uh, I always use a topping. It, it, you don't need to use a giant piece. You can just use a small piece on the surface of the garment or the item. And then I just tape the corners down. Again, you know, I, I think I've shown you this in, in every segment that I've done. This is your embroidery perfection tape. I tape the corners down so that I can get away using a smaller piece. So um, let's get started showing you some samples of where I think uh, topping is the most impactful. In Floriani, we have three types of topping. We have our heat removable topping, which is called Heat and Gone. And this product is easily removed with an iron, and we're gonna talk about that a little bit. And then we have our water soluble topping. Our water soluble topping was our first topping and um, it's, it's beautiful, it's very easy to use, completely water soluble, does not have a smell, but the best thing about it is it has little dimples on the top of it so that the presser foot will glide over the top of it, it doesn't stick to your presser foot. So love that, it's um, an embossing, really, really nice. And then our newest product is called Color Keep. Color Keep comes in five different colors and it is actually a colored topping. Absolutely wonderful. So we're gonna get into showing you all three of these and, and where would you use them specifically. Um, when I usually ask people where they use topping, uh, they first immediately tell me towels. And so towels are definitely an area that we wanna use topping. Towels are obviously very plush. Uh, they're terry cloth, they're velour, a variety of different fabrics that are um, high piled. Uh, this is just a little baby bib here that is a terry cloth. Again, definitely need a topping. But which type of topping would I use? So l let's talk about that. Where, what would you use? Um, obviously the water soluble topping, what does it do? it washes away. That's our water soluble topping. So I would not recommend a water soluble topping on a towel or something that's a high nap because in satin stitching, invariably that, that loop on that towel is gonna try to work its way back up. So the, the stabilizer, the topping that I recommend for your surface of towels, terry cloth, anything that's plush and, and stands up would be our heat and gone. So the way this works is again, you just cut a piece a little bit bigger than the embroidery design, tape down the corners. You already have all your stabilizing done, do your stitching. When the stitching is done, this perforates and it will tear away from, away from around the design. Then you're going to take the tip of an iron and you literally touch the iron directly to the surface of where 
the heat removable is at. And I'm gonna use my iron here. You would literally touch it and it dissipates. It goes completely away. Now, this sample that I have here is a great sample uh, that I want to hold up for the camera. And this particular piece, you can see uh, clear water-soluble topping was used here. And then our heat removable topping was used on this side. Wow, what a difference. This towel has been washed 30 to 40 times. And you can see that the stitches have made their way back up through the loops. And with the heat removable, the, the uh, heat and gone stays underneath the stitching, wash after wash, even through the dryer, it's gonna stay underneath that stitch and keep the loops of the towel pushed down so they can't make their way back up. Wow, what a difference that makes. Well, where would you use the water soluble if the heat removable is so amazing? Where would we use the water soluble? everything else. I use the water soluble topping on my quilt cottons, on my uh, denim shirts, my baby onesies, my linen, all other fabrics, corduroy, I will use my water soluble topping. The heat removable topping could also be used. It's, it's equally wonderful. So um, it's your choice at that point. But with towels, definitely you want to use the heat removable. Absolutely a game changer in how it works. So I'm gonna set these samples aside and I wanna um, share with you our newest topping in the Floriani family. And it's called Color Keep. If you're trying to establish a contrast, if you are trying to stitch something white in a dark fabric or vice versa, if you're trying to stitch a dark design on a light colored fabric and you're getting some bleed through uh, on the garment or on the item, uh, that's a problem, That's a, that presents a problem. And so I wanted to come out with some shades of topping that would um, help you in keeping that color. So that's how it got its name, it's called Color Keep. And uh, I wanted to share these samples with you that I did. This particular sample um, has three of our toppings in it. Um, I'm sorry, two. This is no topping at all. This, let's see, I'm gonna pull this up a little bit so we can see it in the camera better. So we've got no topping at all here. Here we have our clear topping, and here we have our color keep. Wow, what a difference. So the way this works is you hoop your item and then you are going to lay the color, in this case white, that matches the closest to the embroidery design. You're gonna lay that on the surface, do the stitching uh, for the main part, the main body, and then it tears away uh, beautifully. And then you complete the embroidery. But what this does is, again, elevate the embroidery, but it gives you a second phase in that it's colored, so it actually matches the thread and enhances the thread color. It's absolutely fabulous. So you wanna use this on towels, certainly, where you've got a big color contrast, like we have here, or if you've got a very busy fabric in the background and you're wanting to establish a difference. Um, this is actually the little guy that's used in all of our national ads. So you'll be able to see this up close and personal uh, on the label. But wow, what a difference this product makes in, in keeping that color um, beautiful on the surface of the fabric. And last but not least, I wanted real quickly to show you I love satin stitching. I love um, applique and I love to do that on the edge. And the color keep is really nice to wrap around the edge of a home deck item. Um, in this case, I did a baby bib um, and I just did a satin stitch around the outside. But wow, look at how that just is so tight and gorgeous how that satin stitch lays in the fabric. So your topping, remember, it allows you, it allows the stitches to close off the way they're supposed to. So when someone asks you where you use topping, you can say, well, Kay said to use it everywhere and it will make a difference in your embroidery. That's just another step uh, in making your embroidery flawless and making you successful uh, in, in everything that you do in, with your embroidery machine.